think this is the place, the motel. Motel Americana, it looks like. All right, let's go in. Let's go in here. Hello? Uh, hi. Um, wasn't expecting any customers today. Uh, how, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm looking for a room. Do you have any available? Um, let me, let me check. Uh, yeah, there's a couple. There's a couple available right now. Would you like to take a look? I can, uh, show you and, um... Sure. Yeah, uh, they are two diamonds per night, these, these particular rooms that we have. Okay, um, all right. We've let got, one out. uh, just over here, uh, we've got room okay. one. If you would like to step in, you can, you can take oh, a little yeah. look. Very it, nice. A little bit red. It's little the bit red, red in here. the red room. Yeah, yeah. Um... Mm -hmm. Very nice. And uh, we've got room two over here as well. Okay, These are the only sweet, two sweet. available, um, if you would like to take oh, a look. this is nice. It's got a little TV, it's got a little plant, it's got a little lamp on the side. Oh man, does the motorcycle come with this, by the way? It, it doesn't. It's it's um, it, it's another customer's. Um, they've just parked at the front uh, okay. here. But, you, but there is a space if you want to bring your own. Uh, there's free parking. Oh, nice. Um, sweet. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll, I think I'll take this room too. This is a nice looking room. You said it was two diamonds a night? It, it is, yes. Uh, how many nights would you like to stay? Ooh, uh... Not sure? Hmm. I mean, we can, uh, yeah. we can work something out? Undetermined, yeah. What if what if instead of paying you two diamonds... You see... You see come over here. Come over here. Um, okay. You see this this whole military complex over here? This whole uh -huh, thing going uh -huh. on? Uh-huh, Area 77. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm aware of that. Mm-hmm. What if, what if I... You know, maybe I could I could go in there and you know get some info for you. You could maybe potentially sell it to customers and things. Ooh. Would that would that be? I mean, working in lieu of payment. What do you think? I mean, what what kind of what kind of information? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Be, be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. There's there's someone just oh, oh, flying oh. by. Um, there's okay. someone watching okay. us. Just just pretend uh, everything's normal. Let me just uh, point over here. Does that happen a lot here? Uh, it does happen a little bit, so you do need to be a bit quiet. Um, they are watching, but they can't hear us from here. I'm pretty sure. So, okay. Okay. So okay. yeah, information. Um, I can I can work with that. I can work with that. Okay. Okay. So we'll do the information instead of the two diamonds per night, right? Yeah, that that works. Just just don't tell anyone else about this deal, okay? Definitely, it's definitely two diamonds for the most part, okay? Okay. All right. We'll do. Cool. Thanks for the room, folks. Cool. Appreciate it. No worries. Have a good stay. Well, that was pretty great. We've got our first customer, guys. I wasn't even ready, as you could probably tell, uh, for customers. I, I thought that maybe the fact that there isn't a museum properly yet and the diner isn't quite fully stocked, that, you know, maybe we wouldn't have um, anyone interested. But uh, Cub Fan seemed to be, so uh, I'm not going to turn away any business, although it does mean that I, I'm, I'm not actually getting any diamonds from him, so that's a little bit of an issue. But I'm sure the information he has, or will have, from this place right here, let's actually be a little bit, a little bit quiet about it. I don't want to, don't want to shout about it. Don't want anyone over there knowing. What on earth is that? I mean, I guess that's the kind of information he can get us, maybe. Maybe I should sort of leave him a note and, and be like, get me this information, get me that, although... I'd just be speculating because I have no clue what is in there. People keep saying aliens and crazy stuff, but I mean, I think it's just like art, you know, that just looks like some art sculpture to me, uh, uh, some modern art perhaps that I don't understand. I'm, I'm not sure, but I did notice this guy wandering around and he technically isn't in the Area 77 area. Um, hi friend, are, are you, uh, no, I didn't want to, no, I didn't want to do that, I wanted to do that. Okay, nothing. Nothing in the chest. Okay, just just wanted to check, just in case for some reason you were some, uh, I don't know, spy or something. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just I'm just kidding, guys. I have no idea. But anyway, as you can see, I've been a bit busy over here. I have been making walls. We've got the False World Park almost up and running. It is pretty empty in here, but it is a park. People can come in here and chill out and do as they fancy and if we hop over this one here this is um very very much um a private land so people can't land here if they do that would be against the museum rules because we're going to be charging people to come in here and i've been working on something i would say secretive but i mean it's probably pretty obvious by what you can see here but we'll keep it on a down low guys we need people to uh to come and visit and 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 think it's real okay so i don't want you guys telling anyone that this is fake 
but definitely tell people to come on over to the museum once it is done. I'm just waiting on Cleo to finish up the interior because, yes, I want them to come and pay to see the crop circle, which uh, we need to make, actually. So I guess let me get a hoe and some seeds and... Saying that, this is actually going to need an awful lot of seeds. I might need to take a quick trip to town. Well, I've just had a message from Mr. Wells Knight who said that he has some seeds for us, which is perfect because I have been stocking up my inventory here with lots of sugar boxes, some of which are empty, some of which are full of stone and cobblestone and just loads and loads of things I need because obviously coming back to this area takes a little while. So I like to now and again come back, gather all the things I need, including the seeds, and, um, yeah, apparently they're in here. He thinks they're at the back on the right side. See, Wells, Wells knows exactly where stuff is. He said, take whatever I need. Sweet. So that's what I will do. I will probably just take just over a, a row, perhaps like that many, just so that if he does come back and want some seeds, I won't have, you know, stolen them all. Um, but obviously that's just going to get me started. If I have any spare, I can I can come back and bring them back here to, to stock him back up again. But uh, yeah, that should get us going for our crop circle. So let's head on back to town with all of our gubbins and um, yeah, start building this thing. Um, excuse me? Uh, what a exactly are you doing in in here do you just want to come in and admire my painting i'm not sure uh i'm not sure that's allowed i think that's sort of uh entering my property property without permission uh, um also your pet llamas seem to be a, a little bit stuck outside last time i blocked them in though they did vanish so i'm a little bit worried that they're gonna vanish again uh, but it would be cool if we had some pet llamas if that guy doesn't seem to want them, you know, I can I can take them in. That's fine by me if I can actually block this up. There we go. Although you guys are probably gonna vanish again. But uh this guy, I mean, I'm the mayor, dude. If you got anything good to trade uh, not not really. Well, sorry to say you could be a spy, so I've gotta uh no one's looking. Uh do this. Thanks for that. Okay, maybe someone was watching. That was a creepy noise. Right, let's just put that in uh, in this chest with the other non-conspicuous stuff. And uh, just let's just go do crop circles. It, it's it's fine. No, no, one, no one's around. It, it, it's all good. Right, well, here is our crop circle design. We have a lot to do here. And I guess um, all of these blocks are going to be the areas that won't have wheat growing in them. So... I guess it's time to get this going. I've got my trusty hoe and my seeds. Let's get going with this. So this was quite the task. This thing it took way more wheat seeds than I actually even realised. I used them all up on the main circle part and then, well, as you can see probably in parts of this time lapse, you can see that I was growing the seeds uh, with bone meal that I already bought, which I'm glad I did, um, and then, you know, planting the rest and then vice versa. So uh, this thing took me a good couple hours. Well, that was a surprise. Uh, serious dedication. <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> um, I broke a diamond hoe. Uh, let's hope uh, no one noticed that. Um, but apparently I've got to go reevaluate my life's choices, so uh, let me get in there now. <laughs> So whilst I'm allowing this to grow before I get rid of the template, just to make sure it's gonna work, I actually have reevaluated my life choices um, in a way that has just meant that I've come up with a new idea for a money-making scheme. I mean, no, not money-making scheme, no. Um, something to offer the alien tourists. There we go, that's exactly how I'm gonna put it. Um, I want to make more money, I mean that's obvious, but what I want to do is also offer some of the tourists that are going to come along here a potential tour. Um, sort of, It was the idea was brought on by Cobfan and our little chat we had earlier on today and I think, I don't know where I'm going to put it just yet, but I think around here somewhere, so it's sort of opposite the motel where the people stay, near the shop where people are going to be shopping, quite 
no, far away from the museum actually, but this is probably a pretty good spot for a, or even there perhaps, for a little tour booth. Yes, instead of a food truck, let's get rid of this idea. Nobody needs no food truck. Let's build ourselves a tour booth. So as the sun goes down, we come over here to prepare our tour booth. I think it's just going to be super, super simple. I've grabbed all the materials I think I'm going to need. We might need more. We'll see. And um, let's just go ahead and build it. And there we have it. Very, very simple. But it this sort of stand, sort of sort of doesn't stand out. Actually, I was going to say it stands out. But I don't know. People are going to be walking by here, so they will see it. I mean, yeah, it sort of stands out. We'll put a couple of trees near it and we'll add like a little path and maybe some lighting behind it or something rather than this uh, little torch there but uh yeah there we go we now offer tours and also do you want to do you want a tour sorry no tours for phantoms if you if you fly and you attack me no no tours for you that that's gonna just have to be a rule oh and we we seem to have another guest that wants a room uh room one for you sir okay. Okay, we can we can do that for you. So as an update to the crop circle after quite a while, it's looking okay, but of course it um isn't still completely grown at all, which is frustrating, but I guess this will grow over time. I also fixed the edges which were rough and have made them straight, and I'm thinking of putting a wall or, or something, or just some iron bars perhaps in between the pathway that I want people to stand on and the crops itself because people shouldn't be able to just run through the crop field that wouldn't make any sense so um, that is what we're gonna do and I'm gonna need some more lily pads because some of these are open although like I say no one's gonna be walking along them although maybe I will who knows so I thought I'd actually hop on to a different world as you can see this is a creative flower this is actually my patreon creative server I have a similar server to hermitcraft where we have a vanilla server but also a creative flat world which is here this is my little area which I've been building in in live streams and I've come up with a design for a convenience store which I've roughly built it's not complete but basically we're going to be building this where we want that general store sort of opposite the gas station and I thought you know what uh, I built this and I'm pretty happy with it it's okay could do like a little chimney or something perhaps um, although that would be weird I guess for general store but uh, I think I also want to build some sort of food truck that will fit in the gap next to my house and then uh, what I can do is on live stream I'll build these things actually on the server when I have the resources because I don't I don't have the resources right now and I, I don't have the time to go and get them on Hermitcraft. Uh, what I do have time for instead is coming up with the food truck design, put it right here and what I'll do is like I say build them on Hermitcraft off camera and you guys will have already seen them so um, it won't be any surprise to you uh, other than I guess what it's going to look like on the server which hopefully they will look okay. Well a little while later I built two. Um, I don't know if they're maybe a little bit too short. Maybe they need to be elongated by one, I think. They're both four along. I tried building them a little bit different to one another, and there are certain things I like about some of them better than others. That one looks more like a lorry, whereas this one looks more like an ice cream truck. I've also made these little badders. Look how adorable they are. We've got strawberry ice cream. We've got blueberry ice cream. We can have little signs perhaps saying what they are, or even not. Might look better without. I don't really know. Um... But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think I prefer the ladder at the front rather than the loom, even though the loom sort of potentially is a better block for it. Ugh, just having that 3D nature of the ladder, I think really helps. I really look quite like the dark glass. I tried like right over here. Doesn't, it's not as impactful, but it does make it look a bit angrier uh, as a vehicle. I think definitely having the pink and the blue in it somehow is better. But also, um, I think this might potentially be better for the jukebox. I want a jukebox because obviously ice cream vans make noises, right? So it's kind of cool to be able to go, you know. Come on, everybody. We're selling some, uh, <laughs> we're selling some, uh, some ice cream. Come on over. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I like that a lot. Um, but I could also potentially put it in a better place because <laughs> once it's up there, you can't really get to it. Although I guess we could add a potential ladder up the side. Yeah, you know, like well, like a vehicle might have. 
uh, so you can pick up the disc again. <laughs> that might be quite practical. So I don't know, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any designs of your own, anything that you think could be kind of cool vehicle-wise or otherwise in town, let me know on Twitter at Full Symmetry. You can send me uh, your pictures over there. And uh, I think I'm just going to sort of combine these, my favourite things for each of these. Like I really prefer this as a way up rather than this because you, you sort of stand underneath it, <laughs> which isn't very practical. But I think the vehicle will look really nice right here, parked on the side of the road next to the tour guide thing. So maybe we can sort of get two in one, right? We can get them to not only buy an ice cream, but you know, they can have an ice cream on the tour. And uh, I think that's going to be a really nice uh, combination. We've got to sort of combo, combo the amount of money we get from people by sort of having them get a two-for-one deal. But anyway, we're just going to go check this barrier here that I've definitely finished it off because I feel like there's bars missing somewhere. But uh, then we'll head back to our house. Well, you look at that, Doc. Uh, got a UFO who, up who here. Who are you guys? Guys, you can't just walk through town dressed as... I don't know, for Halloween, perhaps? Excuse me, citizen. We're from the government. We're here to help you. Uh, you don't mm -hmm. look like you're here to help me. Help, help me with what? Some just strange a little inspection, you know. Yeah, I don't mind my assistant there. He is just going to take a little look through the house just to make sure everything's above board. He so can't. keep your eyes on me. Eyes forward. Good citizen. Okay, eyes forward. okay, there okay. But he's just going yeah, through my chest. No, just don't worry about him. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Look at him. He's got sunglasses on. They're fun. Yeah. Um, strange occurrences have been happened around here. We hear, you know, maybe hippies disappearing when they come into town for the beet roots. Hmm? Um, no, I know nothing about any beetroot or any hippies. You haven't seen oh, really? any strange activities. Nothing. I mean, the hippies mm. I, I've heard are pretty strange, but I, I mm, haven't really experienced them very much. Yeah, we got some files on them that you would not believe, my friend. Anyway, uh, you got a UFO up there. We heard there was a, this is where maybe mm. something went down the other day. Mm. I mean, it, it's got a cow in it, if that's what you're asking. Is that no, against I'm the not law? I'm really interested in that. No? Doc, what do you think? I think we should take it. I agree. Wait, what? Mm. Why? It's just a it's just a statue of a UFO. Brings in the tourists. No, Hitter's I'm getting car. some extraterrestrial vibes here. Doc, yep. you ready? Yeah, yeah. Hit her. Wait. You wait. don't remember anything. You're very, very tired. You had a long, long day. You want to go to bed now? And nobody ever visited you, and nothing special happened. Good night. All right, man, let's get it. Come on. I forgot the scaffolding, man. How are we going to reach it? 